It is coming to the perfect head, really. The end of the Six Nations for the women, for the men and for the under-20s. Three England sides all going for Grand Slams. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. We potentially could have a triple Grand Slam champions uh, at the end of this weekend. I think what's great is to see how good rugby is for England, generally. Yes. Uh, for the women, they're building up for their World Cup, which is taking place in August. Uh, and for the men, obviously, they're looking really good now, uh, going into what is going to be a very big year for them as well. So it's positive. What about this? This, uh, alongside all this, of course, because the form would suggest that England, have, who, who had a great result against uh, Scotland last week, and the Irish, who haven't performed as well as perhaps they thought they, they, we all th expected them to, going into this weekend, it's at Ireland Stadiums at the Aviva, so it's in their home ground. It's St Patrick's Day weekend. Mm. Uh, what, what, what are the chances of an upset there? There's always a good chance. So uh, Ireland haven't lost at home in the Six Nations for four years. So right. this is a really big, big competition. Um, you know, Ireland playing at home with all the fans, like you said, St Patrick's mm. Day. It's going to be really a lot of well, a lot of pressure for England. But England have the chance to really show you know how good they are. They are going to be getting the chance to become double Grand Slam champions. They haven't done that since the format in, in, when it was Five Nations. So there's a lot at stake. Um, and Ireland are the ones who are able to spoil the party mm. for them. They did it against New Zealand when New Zealand were on their, their consecutive moment, yeah, yeah. runs. So this is going to be really big. Do you sense there's a different excitement about rugby? It feels that way to me. Yeah. Uh, people seem to get as excited now about a historic weekend like this would be in football. Yeah, I think what it is is that there's, when there's like a story behind mm. the fixtures, I think people really get into it. And for England, you know, the opportunity to become, you know, record breakers and winning it, nine, winning international games 19 times uh, in a row, that's, that's something which I think fans can really sort of gravitate yeah. to. And the Six Nations always gets a lot of people interested in it because it's the home nations against each other. Uh, and for England to go on to potentially become, you know, legends uh, in the world of rugby. It's uh, quite a special thing. He, uh, d I read an interesting uh, column by Zinzan Brook, the former New Zealand captain, of course, and New Zealand rugby legend. Uh, and of course he would write this, but he said this entire run, potentially record-breaking run, will have an asterisk by it because they haven't played New Zealand in that run of 19 games. There is an element that if England win this game this weekend, that that match has to happen, doesn't it? It has to happen soon because New Zealand had their record-breaking run beaten yeah. by Ireland in Chicago, yeah. and here's the opportunity for them to do it again. If England beat them, do you think that? Do you, do, you, do you sort of concede what he says that actually England haven't played the number one team in the world across those that, those games? No, I don't really see it as, a, as something to really talk about. I mean, there's a good chance that England could play New Zealand in the autumn, yeah. so that's, there's a lot of talk around that. End of the day, they, they've got to play whoever they're faced against, and to be able to win non, you know, consecutively, potentially 19 times, that's really impressive for any Tier One team to do, and they haven't played against weak sides. They're playing against big sides, mm. you know, Australia, Argentina. So uh, I think it's a very impressive run and considering that they come off the back of a really bad World Cup loss in 2015, I think you've got to take your hats off to England. Are you mm. expecting three England wins this weekend? I am, definitely. And I, I, Is so that we should, hope? Or? Yeah, no, I know it's going to happen. <laughs> I know the under-20 boys will do really well, the women will do really well and like I said, it's only going to give confidence for the men on Saturday. Great stuff, Maggie. Lovely to see you. Thank, Thank you very you. much.